Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 18 Franchise Mode with your Quebec Nordiques. Yes, we are back here again to play through the second half of the 22-23 NHL season. Last episode, we of course played through the first 41 games halfway through the 22-23 season. And we have a record so far of 27 wins, 12 losses and 2 overtime or shootout losses with our super stacked Quebec Nordiques team. Of course, Lias Anderson leading the team with 40 points, 11 goals and 29 assists in 41 games. And it's good enough, our record, for first place in the Central Division of the NHL, one point above Dallas. But after that, there's not really that much competition, so we've got to try and keep beating out Dallas. And that's also good enough for second place in the entire league. The only team above us is the New York Islanders, and they have more overtime losses than us, and that's why they're in first place. So we're very much in contention for the President's Trophy here at the end of the season. Season. And we're currently riding an eight-game winning streak, which is pretty awesome, I've got to admit. An eight-game winning streak, and in the last five games, we've only allowed three goals. So our winning streak goes back to the 22nd of December. It's now the 11th of January. So I think the first thing we need to do is we need to go all the way to the trade deadline and see where this team's at, if there's any changes we need to make, or if we can just keep simming. Because I, we... The way that we've played in the first half of the season, we could potentially have a 54-win season here. So let's see what happens. Eight-game winning streak. Uh, Nikitin's been injured. Uh, do we have a defenseman? I don't think we have a defenseman to replace him, do we? That's the one problem about this team. I don't think we have a defenseman to replace him. Uh, no, we don't. So scratch. The only players we've got are Tuminen and Kreisky. Okay, so let's bring up a player from the AHL. I think this is the smartest thing to do. Uh, don't think we'll be above the cap if we bring somebody. Petstrom's up at an 80. That's good. Van der Sompel, There you go. Van der Sompel, welcome to the team. You've been called up. Good lad. So, we're on an eight-game winning streak at the moment. Hopefully, we should see a victory here to make it nine games. There you go. A nine-game winning streak. Carries on against the Minnesota Wild. Away against the Winnipeg Jets. And a shootout loss. We finally get snapped in five ga nine games, sorry, the tenth game of the potential winning streak. The Winnipeg Jets take us out, but it's in a shootout. We'll scout forwards in Russia for two weeks. It's a shootout loss, we get a point. Now, the best thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't go on a losing streak here. So against Carolina, we win 5 nothing. Good. Against Washington, a 5-3 win. Back on a winning streak again, folks. Away against Vegas. They've got 20 wins. Oh, here we go. So the Florida Panthers want the fourth round pick from Boston, Coltonen, and a seventh round pick for Florida's third round pick. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have a third round pick from Florida, don't I? No, I have the third round pick from... I have the second round pick from Florida. So Coltonen. How good is Coltonen? He's 59 overall. We drafted him in the 2021 draft in the seventh round. They want him a fourth round pick and a seventh rounder. For a third rounder. Yeah, alright, go on then. You're welcome. So against Vegas, we lose 4-2. Against New Jersey, we get a shootout win. So we bounce back. Against the Rangers, we win 3-2. Good. 32 wins on the season so far. We're doing very well here, boys. Uh, wow. So the National Predators want Chris Tierney and our first round pick of this year's draft for Carl Olsner and their third round pick. Eh... He's 83 overall. I've already got plenty of 83 overall defensemen. I don't need that. Thanks for the offer, though. Right, scouting assignment. So we scouted forwards in Russia. Uh, there's two defensemen in the rest of the world, so we'll scout them for a week. Why not? So against Chicago, we take a 4-2 win. Good. Three straight wins now, I think. Against Edmonton, we all go on game. There you go. 2-1 win. That's what I like to see. Uh, Chris Tierney for Ryan Zingle. Well, we used to have Ryan Zingle in our lineup, so no thank you. Against Columbus. Can we carry on the winning streak? Yes, we can. 5-1 victory. Uh, scouting assignments ready to carry on again. Uh, let's go forwards in the Liga for two weeks then. Home against Nashville. They've dropped off from their strong start. And we get a 2-1 victory. Good. A lot of goals, only one, a lot of games, only one goal against. A 5-4 victory against Colorado. That's awesome. A 2-1 loss against Vancouver, unfortunately. Then we're home against the Islanders. We beat one of the best teams in the league this season. Against LA, a 4-1 win. Nice. Against Montreal, can we take another win here for the 40th win of our season? I think we can. Nick Schmaltz. Nope, I'm alright, thanks. Chicago. Against Montreal. Come on, get this win, boys. Good, a 1-0 win for our 40th win of the season. 2-1 win against Anaheim. 
Wow, we've got a solid defense going on here. So it's the 19th of February. The 20th, we're against the defending Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, I hate them. I hate the Tampa Bay Lightning. They robbed us of our Stanley Cup in five games. Beat them in the regular season and show that we can defeat them, Quebec Nordiques. I think this is a trade block thing going on here. Or it's a morale thing. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but we're playing very well as a team. We've got 41 wins on the season so far, and we're not even at the trade deadline. So we could, well, I think we'll hit 50 wins this season, ladies and gents. There we go. It was a scouting assignment and a morale thing. So let's scout forwards for three weeks in the SHL. Why not? So away against Tampa. Let's get this win, boys. I want this victory. Go on. Win. Thank you very much. Good. Revenge is sweet. I mean, they won the Stanley Cup, which is about a thousand times better than a regular season victory. But still, we've won the most recent game between us, and that's all that matters. Wow, the simulation is taking a very long time now. Not quite sure what's going on here. So I've got an away game against the St. Louis Blues. It was a morale thing by the looks of it. Against the St. Louis Blues. Uh, Kevin Shattenkirk. So the Ottawa Senators want to give us back Kevin Shattenkirk and Kaspari Kapanen for Christiani and the Florida Panthers' second round pick in this year's draft. So Kevin Shattenkirk is an injured 82 overall. How's he been since he left us? 22 points, 45 points. But then... The good seasons he had with us, ladies and gents. Look at all of these. 62, 55, 51, and 55. Nah, I don't need Shattenkirk. Thank you very much for the offer, though, Ottawa. Against St. Louis, we go on win. You want to win. Thank you, 4-2 win. Wow, we are going on some massive winning streaks here this season. Home against Detroit, an under 500 team. They had a very good start to the season, but they've dropped off massively. Oh, my God. It's probably all, it's all the morale stuff and all the trades by the looks of it. Because we've put Christiani on the trade block, everyone's like, oh, we want Christiani. So Andre Casse, or Andre Case, the, so there's a couple of draft picks being chucked both ways. So a third and a fourth from them, they want a second and a fourth. Case is 78 at 27, no thank you. It's a nice offer, but I will decline. Against Detroit, an 8-5 win. Oh my goodness, we are going on some winning streaks here, ladies and gents. Away against Boston, they're an above 500 team, and we get a shootout win. And then against Pittsburgh, come on, let's get a win. Go on, finish it with a win. You know you want to, game. Don't give us a loss. Don't give us a loss. Let the winning streak continue, boys. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, Pittsburgh, give us the win, please. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, don't make me ask you again, Pittsburgh. Come on, don't be awkward here. Come on, Pittsburgh, just give us the win. I just want to see that W in that category there against Pittsburgh. Make it a 3-0 shutout for us. Why not? We deserve it. Two back-to-back -back final losses. We deserve this. Please. Honey up. <laughs> Come on. What's taking so long? Pittsburgh, stop being a sore loser. It'll be our 46th win of the season, I think. And that'd be bloody incredible. Ah, oh, shootout loss. God damn. Damn it! Oh, no. At least we get a point. So, Granlund, how good is he? He is an 85 overall centre. I've already got Leas Anderson, who's playing absolutely fantastically. Christiani will be traded. We are going to trade Christiani, but the offers we're getting aren't very good. So, just to clarify, we had a nine-game winning streak before we went to Winnipeg. Then, we managed to get two more wins, then a loss against Vegas. And then we got one, two, three, four... 5-6. We had a 6-game winning streak before we met Vancouver. Then a 1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8 game winning streak again before we met Pittsburgh. Wow. This has got to be up there for the President's Trophy. 94 points on the season already. Yep. We're, we're way in the lead for the President's Trophy. The next best team in the Pacific is 11 points behind. Dallas are... 16 points behind. Montreal are 23 points behind. And Philadelphia are 8 points behind, I want to say. Uh, seven, 7 points behind. 7 points behind. 60 points in 63 games for Mr. Leas Anderson. Oh my goodness. Who else is stepping up? 56 points for Philip Forsberg. Good lad. Taylor Hall, 49 points now that he's been on the second line. Dylan Larkin, 49 points. Lee with 31 points. Ramsey with only 40 so he might not actually top his last season numbers. He only needs five more points, in fairness. But Lee's definitely topped his previous season numbers. 15 last year. He's over-doubled it already. We've still got about 15, 
20 games to play. Carlson's massively dropped his numbers, but that doesn't matter because everybody else has stepped up. Richie's got 48 points. What was his best previous season total? 53, so he definitely has the chance. We stuck him on the third line or the second line, and he's now got competent players in front of him, so he's really happy. Great. So we're, we're playing fantastically here. We're playing really, really well. Okay, perfect. So, the trade deadline. Christiani, sorry, mate, but you are going to be moving. Let's find out where. So, uh, Slater Kokoek can be traded as well, because he hasn't wanted to sign with us for ages. So, Slater Kokoek, is there a team that's interested in him? Uh, we've got the Buffalo Sabres. We're a hopeful team. They're 20, 36, and 7. Buffalo, you're not a hopeful you're hopeless, I think is the word you're looking for. You know what? I'm going to give you Slater Kokoek for a draft pick as a sympathy pick. Right, so Colorado Avalanche's fourth round pick of the draft. And can we chuck in a fifth as well? Because I want to stockpile some draft picks. Even though we're going to win the Stanley Cup, we currently have, well, hopefully, we've got a first rounder, two second rounders, two third rounders, a fourth, fifth, and a sixth. So Kokoek for a fourth and a fifth round pick. Will that go through? Yes, it will. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kokoek. You were absolutely useless to this team. You didn't really do much. All right, now, Chris Tierney. Chris Tierney, you've been very good for this team as the years have gone by. I uh, kind of want to send him to an Eastern team. The Carolina Hurricane sounds like a good one. Let's see what uh, draft picks we can get. Uh, no, nah, I don't really have much. I'm hoping for a third or something. Colorado, you're doing all right. Columbus, you're doing all right. Dallas, you're doing all right. I don't want to meet Chris Tierney in the playoffs. Florida, they're doing okay. They got... Nah, but they've traded away quite a lot of their draft picks. The LA Kings... The Minnesota Wild. They wanted to make a trade for him. They don't have a third round pick. Great. The LA Kings, do you have a third round pick? Yes, you do. Wonderful. So, oh, they'd have more than 45 skaters in the organization. Ah, the uh, Nashville Predators. They have one space for a contract. Let's try and take a third round pick, shall we? They have more than 45 skaters in the organization. Okay. So I need a team that hasn't really got many contracts. The Ottawa Senators being one of them. The Pittsburgh Penguins being one of them, but they're not interested. Um, which teams? The Washington Capitals have space. The Winnipeg Jets. Hopefully they don't have more than 45 players in the organization. There we go. Perfect. So Chris Tierney to the Winnipeg Jets for their third round pick of this year's draft. Will that go through? Yes, it will. Thank you very much, Chris Tierney. Appreciate everything you did for the franchise over these few years. Drew Ramsey's happy that Christiani's gone by the looks of it, but other people aren't. That's the only trade I really want to make, to be honest. We're, we're going to make the playoffs. I don't, I mean, we haven't clinched a playoff spot, but we've got 19 games left to play. I don't think there's any chance of us not making the playoffs. I guess the case is, is there any depth players that we don't really need? Because uh, we've got some depth players in the other positions, don't we? Because defence is the only issue, I think, in terms of depth. But um, I think we're okay. We've got Wotherspoon. Well, he's a restricted free agent. We've got Van der Sompel who can step in if necessary. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, I don't think there's any more moves we need to make. So going into the draft, we're looking quite good. We've got a first round pick, two second rounders, three third rounders, two fourth rounders, two fifths, and a sixth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six picks in the first three rounds. Averaging two picks a round. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Considering we're not really going to be picking very high anyway, some of those other picks will. So that's quite helpful for us. And they're getting players that should help their team. So I'm going to go to the end of the season. I'm going to go to the end of the season. Hopefully we don't collapse here. So we start with a home game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. We get an overtime win. It's a good start against Arizona, who are an under 500 team after making it to the conference finals. Season ticket stuff. We win against Arizona. Good. Home against Dallas. We take a 2-1 loss. God damn it, Dallas. You're jealous because we're going to win the President's Trophy. Nick Baptiste is back March 18th. Okay, good. A 6-1 win against San Jose. Jonas Brodeen's injured until March 23rd. Get your injuries out of the way now, fellas. If you want to get injured, now's the time to do it. Just don't get injured for the playoffs, boys. Don't want any playoff injuries. You hear me? No playoff injuries. Right, scout defenseman for three weeks in the SHL. Against Florida, we take an overtime win. Decent. A shootout loss against Philly. But we get a point. So it's better than nothing. We're about to hit 50 wins this season. There you go, against the Ottawa Senators. We could hit 60 wins this season. Come on, that would be an incredible record. 7-5 loss against the Calgary Flames. We get a 3-2 win against Buffalo, though. Shootout loss against Minnesota. We need nine more wins here, boys. Good. Shootout win against Winnipeg. Against Carolina. 
Come on, boys. Let's get this win. Dylan Larkin is out till April 2nd. That should be okay. Against Carolina, a 7-3 loss. Well, he's back. That's awesome. Against Washington, a 2-1 loss. Okay. So, can we maybe get a few more wins? Against Vegas, an overtime win. Against New Jersey, a win. We're not going to hit 60 wins this season, unfortunately. But I think we're going to clinch the President's Trophy here, ladies and gents. Right, let's scout defensemen for two weeks in the queue, please. Home against the New York Rangers. A loss. Oh, we failed to make the playoffs with the Laval Lasers. 5-1 win against Chicago. 4-1 win against the Oilers. Come on, let's finish the season with a win. Jonas Brodeen's out till April 15th. That's not too bad. But we finished with an overtime loss against the Columbus Blue Jackets to make our record 56-19-7, which I think is good enough to clinch us the President's Trophy. Let's see the other teams. Yep, we have clinched the President's Trophy, ladies and gentlemen. 119 points on the year for the Quebec Nordiques. The only team in our division to hit over 100 points. 78 points in 82 games for Philip Forsberg. That's what I wanted when I signed him to that big contract. Leas Anderson obviously dropped. Oh, shout out. Leas Anderson, 73 points in 82 games. Only 15 goals, but 58 assists. That's incredible. Andre Burakovsky was a 30-goal scorer this year. He scored the most goals on our team, in fairness. Well, I'm glad that I re-signed him. Philip Forsberg with 31 goals to be second on the team. 60 points for Taylor Hall, almost a 30-goal scorer. Ramsey with 61 points. So he definitely destroyed his previous season totals. Lee with 41 points. He almost tripled his previous... Well, he over-tripled his previous season totals. He was almost a 30-assist guy. Richie, 55 points to end the year. That's just about his best since he joined the, the NHL, so that's good. Wow, this, this is some good, good stuff. Eric Carlson finished the season pretty well. Dylan Larkin, 70 points. That's got to be near his best. Just underneath 72 points last year. So he's pretty much on pace with his same numbers. But Leas Anderson, what a breakout season. 40 points the year before. 73 points this season. That's incredible. And for the first time in franchise history, the Quebec Nordiques have won the President's Trophy. By six points, they won it. Let's take a look at our power play and penalty kill to see how good we are. 21% on the power play. That's pretty decent. That makes us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th in the NHL in power play, but 4th of the teams that have clinched a playoff spot. So that's pretty good, actually. I'm quite impressed with that. And then penalty kill, I'm sure it's probably... Well, it jumped up to 80%, so I'm quite happy about that. Although it's, quite, it's very much middle of the road. Okay, so our penalty kill is very much middle of the road. Our power play is a lot stronger than it has been previous years. Probably with Richie managing to find his form and Forsberg being on the power play as well has helped us out tremendously. And Ramsey growing to an 87 overall. So the NHL regular season has ended. And we have got first in our division. You're welcome. And we are up against the Winnipeg Jets once again for the first round of the playoffs. Let's hold our team meeting now. Get out of the way. They all love the response, except Van der Sompel, but he's grumpy, so it's fine. So we've got all oh, we've got a cut. Oh wow, four out of three out of the four Western Conference matchups are Canadian matchups. Cal, well, no, actually two out of the four. I keep thinking Colorado's in in um, Canada, but it's not. So we've got Calgary against Colorado, Edmonton against Vancouver, Quebec against Winnipeg, and Dallas against St. Louis. Then we have the Tampa Bay Lightning against the New Jersey Devils, the Florida Panthers against the Habs, the Islanders against the Blue Jackets, and the Flyers against the Rangers. Oh, that would be a great series. So next episode, we will play through the 2023 NHL playoffs, and we are going to win the Stanley Cup this year, ladies and gents. You heard it here. I've said it since the beginning of the year, since the offseason. We are going to do it. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.